Sandwiched between the Atlantic's rugged skeleton coast and the grasslands of Botswana lays a place of wonder, Namibia. On the surface, it seems monotonously arid and flat, but as you dig deeper, you find its splendor, its treasures. Namibia's golden dunes and scenes out of alien planet fiction. Namibia's desolation and its oh-so-rugged. It's a hundred miles of nothing or no one. It's wild, it's free. But for as desolate as it seems, Namibia is life too. Tucked throughout the country are animals small and large, not only surviving, but thriving in the brush, dunes, and grasses of these lands. At times, Namibia can be frustrating. So, we're screwed? I'm so, so mad. Other times, it can be downright astonishing. It's one of the coolest places on Earth. It is phenomenal, but it is always epic. On this Namibia story, we'll find ourselves face to face with lions at the feet of elephants twice the size of cars, just out of reach of rare black rhinos and standing small below the elegance of a giraffe. We'll find ourselves at the base of great dunes, wandering through quivering trees and exploring ghost towns. We'll find ourselves at the absolute whims of the fierce and often unforgiving natural world that is Namibia. The Namibia story starts now. It is just, I don't know what that sound was. <laughs> it is just after sunrise. Um, we slept in instead of shooting sunrise because I think it's best to have all sorts of energy when this workshop starts, when all the participants arrive, because this one's gonna be busy. There's gonna be lots of sunrise shooting, lots of um, sunset shooting, and lots of star photography on this workshop. So I thought it was best to have a bunch of energy saved up and stored up for this trip. So I think we'll go over to the quiver trees after breakfast and I'll show you that and then we're gonna cruise into Windhoek. But first, coffee. I bought this little like coffee thing because we're posh <laughs> and it's hilarious. It's like I'm milking a coffee cow. All packed up, gonna do a quick tire check to make sure we don't have a flat this morning. We're good. So uh, we're gonna cruise off to Giant's Playground, check out some of the quiver trees really quick, then get on the road to uh, Windhoek. Behind me, that's Giant's Playground. You can see all these rocks just stacked up all over the landscape. It's really, really cool. But that being said, I think for the photo workshop that's coming in a couple days, we're probably just gonna focus on the quiver trees because I think it's much more impressive. This is really, really cool, and I'm not sure the geology behind it, why all these rocks are scattered all over the place, almost looks like frost heaving, but I do think that probably the quiver trees are more impressive, so we'll focus on that, but I'm glad we came to check this out. And now we gotta move, we gotta get into, uh, into Windhoek. It's about five hours drive. We made it to Windhoek and we are at one of my favorite hotels anywhere in, in Namibia, in Southern Africa in general, just because it's this really cool mix of a backpacker's hostel and lodge. So the hostel, which I stayed at years ago when I was like full on backpacker, is just there. There's a pool, there's a bar, there's a cool vibe, there's even a little campsite. And then you also have potential like little bits of luxury. So we're in the elephant room. Everything's elephant decor. We've got this bed here that Jody's chilling out on. You can see like literally everything is elephant decor. But really cool beyond the art that you have in here. We've got like this outdoor sitting area. There's an outdoor shower as well. And yeah, chameleon backpackers. I love it here. Um, we're picking up people, we're meeting people, and then I think we're gonna go to dinner.
We just met the group. Everybody's here. They seem awesome. I think they're gonna have a, a phenomenal time here in Namibia on these 10 days of adventure and photography. We're now off to get food at a place that's a little bit strange. A place called Joe's Beer House. Let's go. I've tried sometimes, but you're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I can't live without you. So I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see me, but we're at this place called Joe's Beer House. This is like the spot that every single tourist comes to eat in Windhoek. It's every tour group, every tourist, every single person comes here. It's massive, it's eclectic, it's quirky, it's strange, and the menu is so varied and so, it, there's a lot of game on it. So there's zebra, kudu, crocodile, oryx, springbok, you have everything. So the group's here, we've all ordered, and uh, yeah, I think there's some dishes to come. It's it's delicious, delicious, delicious food, but it always seems weird to come to a place where you go on safari and see the antelopes and then also eat them. But I think the truth is that game is very sustainable eating. It's free range as free range gets and I think it's definitely more sustainable than cattle, than cow even, than beef. So yeah, we're about to dig into some food. We're home from dinner. I'm just gonna go outside to the balcony because I just love it out here. We're home from dinner. Dinner was fantastic. This group is fantastic. I think I'm a pretty good judge of a group after doing these for so, so long. I can usually tell right away if a group's gonna be good. And usually they're always good. This one's gonna be great. This is gonna be a really fun group. So I'm excited for this. If you don't know how this works, <laughs> when I have photo tours, I still vlog every day. It's just sometimes they're a little bit shorter or maybe they just have a little bit less B-roll. Um, so Jody is basically in charge of the B-roll for the next, well, for the whole trip. So be sure to follow Jody's channel as well. It's somewhere up here. She's putting together some videos from Namibia as well. But maybe don't expect the videos to always be 10 minutes long. I usually aim for like, you know, eight to 12 minutes or so. Uh, I think maybe during this trip, it's gonna be six to 10 minutes. And I think that's okay. That being said, there are so many photo opportunities that are gonna happen that they might end up being full 14 minute long videos. Who knows, I don't know. Um, Namibia is incredible, it's unreal, and I cannot wait to start showing it to you. Tomorrow we're heading to Quiver Tree, where we just came from, heading back there with a group. We'll get out there and do a proper sunset shoot. We'll get out there and do more star photography. And then there's tons of cool stuff coming up. We have Sosis Flay, we have Swakopund, we have of Coleman's Cup, which is like the ghost town that's covered by sand dunes. We have Atosha National Park, and I have a 600 millimeter Canon lens that I'm renting for the time that we're here as well, that I'm picking up tomorrow morning. So yes, the videos might be shorter, but yes, they're gonna be awesome as well with tons of photography and tons of really cool spots. So I'll see you on tomorrow's episode as myself, Jody, and the group head towards, yeah, towards the countryside here in Namibia. Cannot wait. And I'll see you guys there. Peace.